Hello, today I'm going to show you how to do a linear regression and curve fit for a set of data of x versus y data points and I will also show you how to get the r squared value and I will show you how to um, do a little, little bit of manipulation with the lists. So first what we're going to do is we're going to go to apps and statistics one variables if you just want to do a histogram or something like that of just single data points but we want to do two data points so we'll go statistics two variable now I've already imported or I've already put in a list of data uh, seven data points long for column C2 but for C1 I just want to go one through seven so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say make and I'm going to say for the expression X where the variables X start at one stop at seven step of one and we're going to want to save that as column one so right there now we have column of one through seven um, c3 i actually want to be c2 times two so i'm just going to go to home and i'm going to go c2 times two store c3 now there is c3 if i go back here i have c3 um, now what, now what I want to do is I actually want to plot C1 versus C3. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to change this from C2 to C3. So now that I have C3, um, let's start Let's start with a linear, but, well, it, sh it'll, it should plot it for us. There we go. Let's zoom to an auto scale so we can see, this, see all our data. So this is what the data looks like. Now if I go back to here, I can see a uh, curve fit. Um, in order to see an R value for that curve fit, go back to go back to the number right there and say statistics and this shows you um, the R squared value as well as a few other things that if you've taken statistics um, you may understand what these are and let's escape out of that go back to here um, that is how you do that if you want to you can go in here and you can cut you can copy this exp if we click on the expression you can copy it and then oops and then head back to one of the men either one of these and paste it uh, it actually didn't copy it let me go back and try that again there's our expression we're gonna copy this enter and enter to get back out of that and then now we should have there's our equation right there and that is if you actually want to visually have the equation in your home or cast menu so you can do something with it later and that's about that about sums up how that app works um, if you have any questions uh, feel free to put them in the comments below um, if you'd like to see other videos about the HP Prime I have one other video at this point but there are more to come um, let me know what you want to see in the comments below it gives me a little direction as to what to look what to show you guys and don't forget to subscribe